Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about how to use Varial Groups in Classic Pipeline. In our previous video, we discussed about how to use this uh, variable group in our uh, YAML pipeline. Here we'll look how the same works in Classic Pipeline. Before jumping onto this video, if you are new to my channel, you can go and subscribe to my channel because I will be hosting most videos around Azure DevOps. And if you think my entire video series is useful, uh, you can buy me a thanks by clicking on three dots. You can go to any of my video and click on thanks and you can donate an amount towards my channel, which will actually motivate me to post most, most videos and uh, benefit the community. All right. So yeah, now we're jumping back to the topic. Uh, so I'm, I will go to my pipelines. Uh, before going to the pipelines, let's go to library. Okay, in the library, I've already created a variable group called variable group one in my previous video, where I created a simple variables called, oops. Yeah, simple variables called username and password here. If you look at here, username is visible, it is unlocked and uh, password is hidden like it is locked right so this is a basic variable group i've used it in my previous video which i've used it in yaml pipeline let's see how we can use the same variable group in our classic pipeline okay so now let me go to my classic pipeline so this is the classic pipeline which i have created for a demo purpose so let me go and edit it so if you go to this, if there is a tab called variables here under tab variables tab, you have a couple of tabs, pipeline variables and variable groups. Once I click on variable groups, you can see um, there's an option called link variable group. So once I click on link, you can link this. So once I've linked, you can see that option here. You have an option, you have an, you can view the use uh, variable details here if you want to unlink also you can unlink it here okay for now i'm just keeping it in the linked status so this way you can use that same variable group in your classic pipeline too okay now let's uh, uh, try to run and see how this variable group works in our classic pipeline uh, stay let me go to my tasks tab so here, this is the sample classic pipeline, which I've used for demo in my previous videos and all. So um, in order to keep it simple, I will add a new task. Okay, let me add a new task called, uh, let me add something called PowerShell. Okay, let me click on PowerShell, you can either create a PowerShell script and pass the file path here or you can provide inline command here, inline command here. So this way you can easily understand how the variable works. So let me try to write a very basic or simple PowerShell command, write host, which will print the username and password. So username And I'm gonna pass password to password. Okay, as simple as that. So once I write any basic command, uh, which will utilize this uh, PowerShell, uh, which will utilize this variable group, um, and I can save it. And you can save it, save and queue or else you can go to your pipeline and run this. You can run your pipeline. So once I run, let's see what happens. Okay. So I am expecting the PowerShell script to be picked and this variables to be used in my classic pipeline. Okay. Let's wait for a moment to see what happens with my variable groups in classic pipeline. <clears throat> you know, my um pipeline started running yeah it's it is trying to run each and every task that i've been specified i have specified in the classic pipeline python task ran command line task also ran powershell script also ran so let me click on this powershell script 
once i click on this you can see my powershell script ran successfully and it printed hello world which was the very first variable let me go to that uh, go to my pipeline again and show you what i have actually written so in the powershell script first command is write host hello world which will print hello world for me next is my username and next is my password so you can see my username one two three four five is printed here and my password is hidden because this is saved this is locked in my variable group if you want to double check you can go to your um, library and verify the variable group right you can see my username is unlocked so it displays the username directly in my pipeline console again the password is hidden so that the value is hidden uh, in your pipeline so again just to reiterate why we are using variable and variable group is because in case if there are any sensitive data and you want hide it, hide it from your uh, audience or hide it from your, or provide only specific permissions to specific people in those kind of situation variable groups might be very much useful okay this way you can actually use simple variable groups in your classic pipeline all right so that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you